Good morning, church. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to continue on my devotion on keys to answer prayer. Today, number three, right motives. Right motives. James 4, verse 3 says, And even when you do ask, you don't get it because your whole aim is wrong. You want only what will give you pleasure or you want only what you want for your own self satisfaction. Right motives is very important. The reason you pray is much more important than the words you say. One more time. The reason you pray is much more important than the words you say. The motives is the why behind the what. One more time. The motives is the why behind the what. And having a pure heart that loves God and loves people is always acceptable to the Lord. On the other hand, selfishness is unacceptable. Revenge is unacceptable. Manipulation and control are unacceptable. Jealousy is unacceptable. Pride is unacceptable. And praying with the praying to win the lottery or toto is unacceptable. In fact, anything that's selfishly based is an unacceptable motive. Alright? Somebody once asked a little boy if he said his prayers every night. He thought about it for a while uh, and replied, No, some nights I don't need anything. Sound familiar? The first and foremost reason to, for prayer is to develop an intimate relationship with Jesus Christ. Think about it. How long do you think your marriage would last if you only come home to see your spouse when you needed clean laundry, a good meal, and a little loving. Not very long, right? Not very long, right? The same principle applies to prayer. Jesus said, If you remain in me, and my word remain in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. If you remain in me. If you keep Focus in me on me. If you keep your relationship, if you walk with me, if you obey me, if you listen to me, if you follow me accordingly every day. When you focus on remaining, abiding in Christ and living in Christ and looking into Christ and trusting in Christ, you will get a response to your asking. James writes. Yet even when you do pray, your prayers are not answered because you your prayer you pray your prayer uh, you pray just for selfish reasons. You pray just for selfish reason. The truth is we are inna innately self-centered. And that's why we need to purify our hearts, we need to check our heart, we need to make sure our heart motive is right on a regular basis and that calls for examining our motives. It may be painful at first but you must do it if you want to see your prayers answered. Amen. Be bad. Lay your heart bare before God and be honest before God. Why you pray what you pray for. Alright. So have the right motive if you want your prayer answered. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we pray that you bless us with a great day. Help us to pray rightly with the right motive so that our prayer may be answered. And the best thing to do is, first of all, check our heart. Number two, walk with you and stay close to you to honor you. For all this we pray. Bless us with a great day in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you and you have a great day.